Hey guys, what is up? It is the Fast Break Report here bringing you guys another vlog. So I watched my first Atlanta Hawks game last night against Houston and it left a lot to be desired because they completely collapsed in the fourth quarter. Like Jalen Green fouled out in the fourth quarter and they still lost. Um, but that's not why we're here. I wanted to talk about the team as a whole because this is a team that um, really needs some other things. And, and what I mean by that is... Um, this team needs bench depth. Um, watching this team play, you know, it's nice that they have Trey Young. It's nice that they have DeJounte Murray, but they need more than that. Um, you know, last night against Houston, DeAndre Hunter in the fourth quarter played 10 minutes and didn't score a single fucking basket. Um, and this team is, it's really weird because they're passing the ball a lot. But they're not making shots. Um, they need. Sh they need. They really need to improve their shooting. They really need to improve their bench depth. Um, you know, their their three point shooting is bottom of the league. I mean, when it comes to three pointers attempted a game, they are thirtieth. They are dead last at twenty nine point three attempts per game from three, and they are ranked 29th in three pointers made a game at nine point six. And you know, this is a team that. Yeah, they're ranked 14th in defense, but if you're going to take literally, you know, the least amount of three-pointers out of all the teams in the entire league, you got to at least fucking make them, and they're ranked 29th in three-pointers made a game. Um, so, they need to shore up some shooting. AJ Griffin looks like a stud, if I'm being honest. 51% from the field, 42% from three. He hasn't missed a single free throw. How the fuck they have... Um, What's his name? Aaron Holiday getting more minutes than AJ Griffin is beyond me. He he should be he's basically their sixth man at this point. But I I feel like for this team to really succeed, AJ Griffin needs more minutes. Onyeke Okongwu, I think he's playing twenty minutes a game, which is pretty good. But they really need more production out of guys like Justin Holiday, Aaron Holiday, Jalen Johnson. You know Frank Kaminsky when he plays. Um, their 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 team just falls off a cliff whenever. Um, did Jonte Murray and Trey Young come out of the game? And they've they've tried to mediate that by playing them at different times. I mean, Trey Young and Dejounte Murray are playing thirty five minutes a game plus per piece, and you know you you make it the the Hawks are in a in a situation where they really can't sit Trey Young or Dejounte Murray for any prolonged amount of time. Like, you know, if Trey Young comes out, DeJounte Murray has to go in. And if, you know, DeJounte Murray comes out, then Trey Young has to go in. And honestly, Trey Young's not having the greatest year efficiency wise either so far. I mean, we're 18 games in and he's shooting 41% from the field, 32% from three. Um, he's shooting almost 90% from the free throw line, which is great. He's averaging 28 and a half a game, uh, one steal, nine assists, three rebounds, we'll call it. I mean, my problem with Trey Young is he reminds me of Russell Westbrook in a sense that, you know, he, in the sense that he's a volume shooter. Um, Trey Young's one of those guys where I feel like if he's not taking like 20 field goal attempts per game, 20, 22 in that, in that ballpark, if he's not getting 20 field goal attempts per game, it's, he's kind of a, a liability more than anything. And, you know, he's not good at defense. Um, you know, I, I like Trey Young. I want to like him, but it, it's just one of those things where it's like for his career, right? Like he's a career 35% three point shooter. Last year, he shot very well from three, 38%, 46% from the field. Obviously, you know, we'll, we'll know more, uh, in another, uh, excuse me. We'll know more in another six games once we get to the 25 game mark, but you know, more often than not, you know, like he's he shot in the 41 to 43 percent range from the field. You would really hope to see that go higher. And from three point range, man, he's only had two seasons where he shot above 35 percent last year and his second year in the league. Um, so I I'm really hoping we get an efficiency improvement out of Trey Young at some point because I I'm just going to call it what it is, man. I, I hate to say this, but. If Trey Young doesn't improve his efficiency, and I'm sure he will as his career goes on, but if he's going to be a career like, you know, 43% field goal shooter and a career 34, 33% three-point shooter, you're never going to win a ring with him as your 
franchise player. And yeah, he can score all the points he wants, but if he has to take 22 shots a game and only makes nine of them, and that's how he's getting his buckets, um, it's not good, you know? Um, And yeah, there's been a lot of guys in the NBA that operate that way, but you know, when I look at the stats, I just, I look at this team and it's like, you know, uh, the first and fourth quarters are obviously their worst quarters offensively. Defensively, their worst quarters are the first and second. Um, but, you know, when you are when you have fourth quarters where you're only scoring 25.8 points per game and a first quarter where you're only scoring 27.6 points per game, you're in the 20s at that point. You're ranked 22nd in the league in first quarter points per game and fourth quarter points per game on offense. Um, you know... There's certain things they can get away with. They're very good at taking care of the basketball. I will say that. Um, at turnovers a game, their their value is 13. So it's ranked for third in the league. And their turnovers per play is 11.1%, which is good enough for best in the NBA. So they're taking care of the basketball. They're passing around a lot. I mean, if you look at their assist to field goals made, it's 28th in the NBA, which means they're passing the ball around a lot. They're just not making fucking shots. And when I go down this roster, there's some uncharacteristic shit going on here. I mean, you know, I can't remember the last time I saw uh, John Collins shoot 22% from three. Like, he's usually a career, like, 36% three-point shooter. Um, So, 22% is very uncharacteristic for him. And, you know, I look at other guys on this roster. Trey Young shooting 32%. DeAndre Hunter shooting basically 33%. I mean, Aaron Holiday shooting 46%, but he only scores scores four and a half points per game. AJ Griffin has been the bright spot, you know, 42% from three, 51% from the field um, on three attempts per game from three. Um, but even Justin Holiday is shooting almost four three pointers a game, shooting 31%. Jalen Johnson, 19%. Um, Frank Kaminsky, you know, 50%, but that's on 0.33 point attempts per game. So they really need to shore up the shooting. They need to become more efficient. They need bench depth. Um, and they need to, they, what this team really needs is a guy off the bench, which I think they already have in AJ Griffin, but they could really use a better bench point guard at, just so that you can sit DeJounte Murray and Trey Young and at least let them, because you don't, like, I feel like as soon as they come out, this, this, whole thing just collapses, um, and they really need a decent bench center too, like, I, Onyeke Okongwu, don't get me wrong, he's a good player, but Onyeke Okongwu is six foot eight. you know what I'm saying, yeah, you can play small ball center with him, but you could, you really need, like, another bench center that's not Frank Kamensky. um, I don't know how strapped the Hawks are for cap space after signing DeJounte Murray to a max deal and having Trey Young sign to a max deal, they just re-signed John Collins, so it's like, I really don't know how much cap flexibility this team has. DeAndre Hunter looked like he took a leap last year in the playoffs. So I'm really looking for more out of DeAndre Hunter. I'm looking for John Collins to shoot the ball better. Um, I'm looking for better efficiency out of Trey Young. You know, it, it's just like they need bench depth. Like there's a lot of shit this team needs. And yeah, they'll get there eventually, but I don't think it's going to be this year. Um, I just don't think the Hawks have enough to make a championship run this year. Um, they're eighth in the league in pace, but you know, they have too many holes going on and hopefully throughout the year, they'll close up some of those holes. There's a lot of gaps. Um, but right now I do not think the Hawks are a championship caliber basketball team, nor do I think the Minnesota Timberwolves are. And they, they've been losing games to teams that they shouldn't be fucking losing either. Um, but yeah, last night's loss to um, the the Houston Rockets was not a good one. Um, you know, they complete they scored 14 points in the fourth quarter compared to Houston's 34, and Jalen Green fouled out. You can't have games like that where you just collapse. Now, I understand that's only one game, but more often than not, this team has a lot to work out. And in the next, I'm gonna be honest, the Hawks in the next, I want to say. Uh, not this year, but the year, ne- this uh, upcoming offseason. So next season and the year after, I think they have a real shot to make a championship run if they get the right pieces around DeJounte Murray and Trey Young. But that's if, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know how much cap space they have. I don't know what guys are going to be coming there. If Trey Young can also increase his efficiency, it would be great. But um, yeah, that's that's just where I'm at on this team. Um, they're good, but they're not great. 
you know, that's that's kind of where where I'm at. And honestly, uh, any team where your big three is like Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, and DeAndre Hunter, you're probably not going very far. But they have the pieces. You know what I'm saying? Like they they understand what they're gonna do, what they what they're going to be. Um, I actually like Clint Capella, believe it or not. He's one of those guys because like I, I think Clint Capella is good enough. Right, but it's the bench unit and the efficiency that they need to get better with. Um, so anyway, tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section below. I like helps me out. Subscribe if you guys want to see more on the fast break report. And I'm um, out of this motherfucker. Peace, guys.